Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 9 of scenario based question series. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Our first question is, if you want to show all data on the scatter plot, what would be your approach? First, let's create a scatter plot. To create a scatter plot, we need at least two meshes. Okay. First, let's drag them, and you can see when we drag two meshes, it automatically creates scatter plot. Okay. If you look at the scatter plot, it is showing only just one value. This is because by default, scatter plot shows aggregated data. Okay. To show all the values, we have to disaggregate the data. For this, go to analysis and unselect aggregate measures okay now you can see we are getting all the values on the scatter plot okay this is how you can solve this problem let's move to our next question does zn function work with dimensions field okay if you know the answer please write down in the comment section now let's check it out create a calculated field rename it zn and polar function zn and polar any of the dimension i am calling customer names as you can see it is giving error because zn function is being called with string did you mean integer means we can use zn function only with integer values or measures value okay so the answer is no Let's move to our next question. When you drag geographic fields in the view, but still some of the values are showing unknown, how you can fix it? Okay. First, let's create a map. For this, we need latitude and the longitude. You can create map by two ways. First, you can drag latitude and the longitude. Okay. And then you drag the required fields. Let's say you want regions, then drag it. Okay. Then state okay and the second one is you can directly drag regions or the state tableau automatically detects like this is geographic field and automatically add like latitude and the longitude in the rows and the column okay so there are two ways to do it okay now let's say when you drag region and the sales it is showing 10 unknown values okay so how you can fix it just click on it and you can see there are three ways to handle it first one is edit location let's click on the edit location you can see these are the states which are unrecognized okay so first one is you can check it out like is it belong to usa or any other country if let's say it is belong to any other country let me check it okay these 10 belongs to canada and when we select our country slash region because we have Canada and the US in the country slash region value so it is automatically detected and now you can see this becomes valid okay now let's change it to fix if you can see when we selected fix it is automatically detected USA and all these states are belong to Canada that's why it is showing unrecognized okay so when we select it to none you can see only three states are which are unrecognized for this you can go to here and enter their latitude and the longitude you can search on the google about their latitude and the longitude okay latitude and longitude of florida okay you can see these are the latitude and the longitude of florida you can copy it from here this is latitude and go back here and select the longitude as well okay and enter here and click on okay now you can see it is showing only two values same you can add for these two other as well okay and click on okay now it is showing only two unknowns this is one method and second one is filter data let's say you are sure you don't need these states for this you can click on the filter and and it will filter out these two unknown values okay as you can see 
now unknown message is gone and the third one is let's say you don't want to filter it out and want to show at a default position in the map so for this you can go with show data at default position when you click on it you can see all these value are showing at the default position in the map okay so this is how you can tackle this unknown value with edit location filter data and show value as default position okay this is how you can solve this problem let's move to our next question let's say we have category with profit in the sales if category is office supplies then its profit should be negative and all others positive profit how you can do it okay for this let's understand this question drag category and drag profit okay as you can see we have positive profit for all the category and user is asking to convert office supplies positive profit into negative okay so how you can do it for this let's create a calculated field okay and rename it negative profit for this we'll use our if statement if category is equal to office supplies then we can add minus sign in front of profit so that it will convert into profit else it should show profit okay and and our calculation so basically we write the calculation only for office supplies if category is equal to office supplies then the profit should be negative and for others it is same okay and just click on okay now drag this value as well and now you can see this is our by default profit and this is our calculated field profit as you can see the profit of office supply is converted into negative okay and now you can drag here as well to represent the negative value in the red now you can see our office supplies profit is negative and it is represented by red okay this is how you can solve this problem that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos